Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward Friends today on the podcast. How to react when you feel that you've been scammed by a salesperson in coffee. That could be green bean, that could be roasted coffee, that could be equipment, that could be a whole bunch of different things that people are selling to the coffee industry. So how do you react and compose yourself and carry yourself when you figure out that you've been scammed. Now, look, this is an interesting one because how do you protect yourself from this? And the only way to protect yourself through this, from this is by going through it the first time and paying attention to what happens to you and how you feel when you know you have been scammed. And it's one way to make sure that you never go through it again. The issue is though, there are people who get scammed, they know they've gotten scammed and they ignore that they have been scammed. And that's not helpful long-term. So to give you a scenario, uh, someone comes in, they try to sell you a coffee that has been roasted and it is this, in their words, incredible new processing method. And they get you to taste the coffee and it tastes amazing. You decide to move ahead with the coffee and then you order your next shipment filled with this expensive, beautiful, delicious coffee that you know is going to sell like hotcakes with your customers. Coffee arrives and you find out that they've dumped something else in the bags. It's labeled with the coffee that you ordered, but the coffee that's in the bags is clearly nowhere near the same standard of what you've been offered. What happens is you call the roaster, you tell them what's happened and they say to you, no, no, this is the exact same coffee and you invite them to come down and cup it. And they're standing there cupping it with you and they're saying, it's delicious. It's exactly as exotic as the coffee that we tasted before. And you're standing there cupping this coffee and you're like, bro, it's not. What do you do? So some people would look at that situation and think, am I going crazy? You're not. This is what we call gaslighting. This is the scam. They have sold you one thing, delivered another and tried to convince you that you're the one who's going crazy. This is the definition of gaslighting. The antidote to this behavior is boundaries. So how do you recover from something like this? With some sort of dignity. First of all, you try and negotiate with the person and tell them, listen, I know what I'm tasting. This is not the coffee that I ordered. If you want to continue to do business with me, you'll take this coffee back, give me back my money and supply me. Once I know you're supplying me with the coffee that you said you would supply, I'll happily pay for it. But if you can't correct this, in the way it needs to be corrected, we will no longer do business together. Step one, that that creates a clear boundary where you're saying to the person, I'm gonna give you the opportunity to fix this, but if you don't do this, we are no longer doing business together. It sends a signal to someone that this is somebody who I cannot gaslight if I want to continue doing business with this person. Now, the alternative to that is you believe that you are crazy. You continue to cup this and you're like, actually, yeah, that's right. That's uh, it probably is me. Maybe I'm just having an off day and this coffee actually does taste better. Maybe I've got COVID. Maybe I can't taste things correctly, blah, blah, blah. You're buying into the other person's narrative or the scammer's narrative of what they've done to you. This happens with green coffee and this happens with roasted coffee. 
If you do that, you have now set yourself up for continually being treated this way and they will continue to gaslight you, scam you, and you are an easy target. If you are stuck with the coffee, knowing that it's not the right coffee, cut the relationship. And this is one of those things where you're going to have to cut your losses and try and figure out how you can recover with some level of dignity. So there are two options here. You can do to your customers what this person has done to you and you can try and convince them that you're selling them this incredible coffee and that they're the ones at fault because they can't taste it. That would be the undignified way of doing this. The best way to do this is hope that you can at least sell this coffee to your customers for what it really is at a price that at least covers your costs. So find out from the person if you can, and most likely they're not going to tell you because that would be an admission of fault, but find out what it is. If you can't find out what it is, give it a name and sell it at the appropriate at the appropriate level of what a customer can expect it to be. So don't tell them it's some kind of super high scoring coffee that you were told it was some super high scoring coffee and now you've been delivered something different. Sell it to them as like a special single origin that you are going to sell at an appropriate price. And if I could offer something on this, we are an industry that should be working together to patch the gaps of what is going on under the stress of COVID and the stress of supply chain issues and the stress of razor thin margins. We as an industry are not doing ourselves any favors by thinking it's okay to fuck each other over. And yet it still happens. So what I would encourage you to do is learn how to protect yourself from people treating you this way. And don't have anything to do with people who treat you this way because of the reputation of the company that they work for. Have boundaries and assert those boundaries. If this is something that's difficult for you to do, consider taking our assertiveness training that has been specifically geared for the hospitality industry. And you can find that on our website. We have throughout 2020 and continue to now to have reduced the price of that by 50%. It is now $49. And you can take it and take it again and again and again and again as much as you want for the same price. It is run by psychologist Jamie Berry and it is, as I said, tailored to the special, well, the hospitality industry, not just the coffee, the specialty coffee industry. And it addresses what to do when people are aggressive, what to do when people are passive, what to do when you are aggressive and when you are passive. And when either of you or the person you're dealing with are passive aggressive. So this includes suppliers, it includes staff, it includes customers, it includes business partners, it includes everybody. So it's really, really valuable. People who have taken the training have huge things to say about it. So it's on our website, mapperforward.org forward slash webinars. If you have any questions, Put them in the show notes below or you can email us at support at mapperforward.org. It is really important that we as an industry start getting smarter about the way that we select who we do business with. Because while there are a lot of really amazing people out there to do business with, you've got to wade through a lot of people who are just really shitty at doing business. So... The way we do that is by empowering ourselves with assertiveness skills and at the forefront of that in this situation is boundaries. I hope this has been helpful, friends. Peace, love and peanut butter. Have an amazing rest of your day.